You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans. So Connor Newman has finally got control of his OCD, but will Adam Newman and Chelsea Lawson push him over the edge again because of their increasingly aggravating antics? on the CBS Soap. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we're going to dive into the horrible choices that Connor's parents are making that could absolutely impact his mental health. But first, if you're not following us, please smash that subscribe button. All right, so we have Adam and Chelsea at odds with each other, at odds with their partners, Billy Abbott and Sally Spectra, and telling big lies every single episode lately, it seems. What's worse is Chelsea and Adam are now basically scapegoating Connor and using him as sort of a pint-sized human shield to protect them from criticism from the people they're dating. And I, I will absolutely admit Adam and Chelsea have had a tough go of it. Finding out that Connor had OCD to such an extreme degree that he was engaging in self-harm is absolutely just terrifying and frustrating and scary for a parent. And we've seen this evolution with how Adam dealt with this family crisis versus how Chelsea did. Initially, both Adam and Chelsea blamed themselves for what Connor Newman is going through. And Chelsea at first thought it was her own mental health crisis and her suicide attempt that pushed Connor into a fragile state. And this whole time, though, Billy has been there for both Chelsea and Connor just through it all. He's been a rock, kind of rare for him. Meanwhile, we saw when this first began Adam blaming himself because he has been, you know, such a sketchy dude. He's got daddy issues. He's got a messed up childhood. He's made so many bad choices and he's not always been the good dad he should be. So Connor's OCD triggered all sorts of guilty feelings in Adam also. And through it all, Sally has been there for Adam and his son, and even for Chelsea too. So compounding all of this is the fact that Billy is now formed this sort of tiny little support group with Sally. The stress of trying to help Adam and help Chelsea while themselves feeling helpless is really hard on Sally and Billy. And so they form this tentative little friendship. They talk a lot lately about what's going on with Connor and his parents, what they can do to help, and just venting to each other. It, it makes sense, right? So after an initial rough road where Chelsea and Adam were bickering over who's at fault and they couldn't agree on Connor's treatments, they found common ground. Since then, Adam and Chelsea have pretty much been on the same page despite all the stress, and they've both tried to be there as best they can to be supportive of Connor. But then, you know, a few weeks ago, they were in Baltimore to visit him, and what started out as a good day turned into Chelsea and Adam crossing lines after that day turned really bad. Connor engaged in his worst bout of self-harm he had ever had. He was trying to draw blood, and they took comfort first in a bottle of booze, and then Adam and Chelsea took it to the bedroom and took comfort with each other. And since coming back from Baltimore, it's been nothing but lies and denials that Chelsea and Adam have been feeding to Billy and Sally. And they're not done, not yet. Just as things are taking a really good turn with Connor, I expect we're going to see a really bad turn in both of his parents' relationships. You know, Sally knows something is off. Billy definitely knows something is off. They just don't know what. So Connor's therapist notified the parents they can come pick him up. So Adam got the Newman private jet gassing up while Chelsea's over the moon, ready to go, go, go. That's what they're focused on, bringing Connor home. The problem was Sally is with Billy at Crimson Lights and then they're chatting at the same time that Connor's therapist calls in to chat with the parents. So Billy was telling Sally something feels off 
And there's something that Chelsea's not telling him. This is on Tuesday's episode. And that Adam's not telling her. And that's when Connor's parents walk into Crimson Light. So although the YNR Weekly promo makes it seem like everything is about to blow up between the four of them and the cheating is about to come out, it does not come out. At least not at this point in the week. Maybe later in the week, but I don't even think so. Not yet. They're dragging it. So... Chelsea freaks out a little, but she's still lying. Adam's glaring at Billy, but he's sticking to the fake story that he drank too much and was mean to Chelsea. And here's where things get bad. What has me worried about Connor's future is is what comes next. So Billy and Sally asked them to have coffee and just talk real quick before they leave. But they start making excuses to try and get out of it, which is suspicious. Adam and Chelsea both insist they just need to leave. They need to go get Connor. And they're using their son as an excuse to get out of an uncomfortable conversation that could reveal to Adam's girlfriend and Chelsea's boyfriend that they cheated. So are these two going to keep using Connor as this kind of shield, as an excuse to avoid confrontation, to avoid giving answers that these people in their lives deserved. You know, Billy's asking the most questions, but Sally's right there. She has questions too. And it's almost like they they can play the Connor card and then they think that trumps everything and they can end the conversation that way. Right now, Chelsea does want to come clean and at least tell Billy. But Adam said, no, don't do it. And he's holding her to it. They're still at odds about that little thing. So here's my big question. How will all this tension affect Connor Newman's ongoing mental health issues? He's just been released from inpatient to outpatient therapy. He's so thrilled to come home. But when they get there to get him, you know, Adam's going to be on edge. So is Chelsea. The kid's going to sense it. And I just worry that Connor is going to assume that his issues are the problem that has them acting off. You know, he's already so hard on himself. And if Billy dumps his mom and Sally dumps his dad, Connor may blame himself and engage in more self-harm. I, th- and the thing is, it's understandable that Chelsea got carried away with Adam when they were in Baltimore. They were under the worst sort of stress. Billy would have understood it. Sally would have understood it if they had told them the truth when they got back. But they've been lying and denying, building up all this betrayal. And of course, Connor is old enough to understand adult problems. I mean, even if Chelsea decided to open up to Connor and tell him the truth, that she and Adam were stressed out and unfaithful and it's all their fault, I don't think he would accept that because Connor would say something like, you wouldn't have been in that position if it wasn't for me and if it wasn't for what's going on with me. And I just don't know how they think they're going to bring their son home and he's not going to sense all of this wrongness surrounding the four of them and how he's not going to wind up blaming himself. So, of course, Chelsea just cannot wait to bring Connor home. Adam is excited too, but they're both also just very worried. They're almost where they should be in in the, the car on the way to the airport. They should just be so excited and so focused about Connor's recovery, but they're not. They're, they're worried. Adam is worried about Sally. Chelsea is worried about Billy. They're worried if their lies are going to hold up. This is not where their head should be. And are they bringing Connor home into a situation that is going to be really, really unhealthy for his fragile recovering psyche? Are Adam and Chelsea's lies and betrayal going to send Connor back into another mental health spiral just as he got out of the last one? I think maybe. We'll see. Please subscribe if you're not following us. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.